Okay, good morning guys and welcome to Unique Not Different with me, Shamla. And today I have a guest from New York who is the executive director and co-founder of My Time Inc. My Time Inc. actually targets parents of children with disabilities, particularly behavioral and cognitive disabilities. And it is an honor to have Ms. Mrs. Lucina Clark here to talk about her work in terms of her organization and what she does and how, how it impacts parents with children with disabilities. So hi, good morning and thank you for joining Unique and Different. How are you doing? Hi, good morning, Shamla. I am doing amazing. I am so honored to be on this platform with you this morning to share the work we do in New York. Um, first of all, my name is Lucina Clark. I am the co-founder with my husband, Wayne Clark, of this unique and amazing organization called My Time Inc. Our focus, as you said, is on the parents. Most mm -hmm. agencies and organizations focus on the children with disabilities. So we became, we want to do something different, a new perspective. We're focusing on parent support. How can we support the parents? You know? And, and like what 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 um why what inspired you to to to, to you know focus on the parents and create this um organization? Well, um, as an educator, I've taught for about twenty five years. As an educator, working in the homes of the families really inspired me. There was one parent who I was working with, and I fell in love with her and her family. And one day I went to work. I mean, she was not really well for a while. You know, the struggles, the challenges of finding services for her son it was really, really difficult. And then she became very ill. And one day I got there and she wasn't feeling well. And she said, Lucina, you know, I'm not feeling good today. You know, go back home. You know, you don't have to do the service today. It's okay. I'll give you a call. But something was not feeling right that day with her. Mm -hmm. I left. And when I got home, you know, I get very emotional about this. When I got home, I got a phone call that she passed away. Wow. And when she passed away, it really affected me. I told my husband, look, I need to create something. We need to create something for our families because the stress and the challenges, the frustrations that the parents, the families go through, sometimes it's fall on deaf air. So I told my husband, I, we decided to use our basement once a month. We invited families over. I love to cook. I love to entertain. So I'll cook a meal, <clears throat> invite them over. We'll eat. And I said, you know what? Let's start teaching them how to become advocates. And by doing that, some parents learned different skills, advocating, understanding their child's disability so they can be out there to get the appropriate services. And within that, we created a me time program where we took them out once a month because we realized that the couples, the parents, the husbands and wife were losing touch with one another, you know, because the stress of raising the child, you know, was like, you know, one another blaming each other, is your fault, is, uh, is your family's fault? So it became such, it was like toxic for the, for the husbands and the wives that it was like, no, we need to do something. So we created my timing to give them that space as well. And I, I know that you have roots in Trinidad and Tobago, right? Yeah. And obviously in Europe, there's a lot of, I guess, trainees, as they would say, or, you know, person from the Caribbean living in New York. So is there any form of collaboration to, in terms of bridging that gap between a geographical gap to see how you can, I guess, infiltrate into Trinidad and help these parents with, um, who has children with disabilities? Well, I was so blessed. You know, I've been I've been in contact with the Autism Society, Miss Sunarain and Miss Amy. It's Miss Amoy Budu. And when I came back this year, it was a great reconnection. We I was able to visit again despite COVID. I was able to visit again and we reconnected. So we are going to be doing some collaboration. One of the things we do every uh, Mondays and Thursday nights in, in New York, we do parent support groups. We do game night. We do such fun activities. We do activities to build the parents' confidence. We do emotional wellness to give them that build, that confidence, that support they need. So we are going to be starting doing a connection once a month or twice a month connecting with the group in Trinidad to have parents support and have some fun night. You know, one of the things I always thought about, you know, in my life, 
What is that we want for myself? And as women, we have to realize as parents, we are still women. You know, mothers are still mothers. You are a, you're a woman. You want to enjoy your life the same way. And as a father, you still want to have that life. You know, you want to enjoy yourself. So by having this collaboration, they can see also, not because we're in New York, we get all the services we need. There is still a struggle. There's still a challenge for your child to get the appropriate services. So I cannot wait for us to do this collaboration for connecting. I am so excited to sit with Amoy and Ms. Sunarine and see how we can help to bridge that gap, to have some form of collaboration. You know, when I came the last time, I was already bothering, you know, conversing some of my friends to sponsor. You know, they have a summer program that we can at least sponsor in some way. I mean, 100 US um, can help with their summer program. So I'm looking forward to doing that as well. So collaboration uh, is my thing. What, and can you quickly, quickly tell us what is your ultimate goal in terms of, you know, My Time Inc? What, what would you like to see, let's say, in the next five years? Oh, well, we just recently got our own, our own space. We have a new location in New York. What I see for us is seeing our women, our parents being empowered, you know, which, took me to a different level of making sure our parents have a space that they can come and feel safe. They have a yeah. place they don't feel ostracized. They know they're not alone. You know, one of the things from being with these women allowed me to create a journal for these women also, something called the divas that allowed them to see that they are valued. Most of the times we women feel, you know what, we are not valued, you know what, we should have this, we shouldn't have that. But being in a space that they know that they are empowered, they can do what they can do and still be that mother, be that woman that they want to be. That's right. the value. Taking my time into a different level of empowering these women to be the best they can be. You know, be unapologetically saying yes to themselves, that they are important and they are worthy. And they can be as tireless as they, they can be who they can be, loving themselves and being worthy and being in that role of a mother. And yeah. it's okay. Awesome. And how can persons reach you if they want to? you know, join or collaborate to even sponsor? Well, they can find us at www.mytimeinc.org. Our phone number is in New York, 718-975-0296. Or you can email us at info at mytimeinc.org. I know, you know, Facebook, you can Facebook us, you get on Facebook, you can see mytimeinc.org or you can go to MTI Parent Support. It's, it's an amazing, you know, our organization is so unique. The things we do to our parents, go to our website, www.mytiming.org and see the work we're doing with the parents. To see the before when, when we began, and this year is 15 years we're celebrating and we're so excited. You know, yeah. we're excited to see the growth of the families. This is Lucina Clark. Um really the work, the work that you are doing is incredible um especially that knowing that you you want to go beyond a geographic and just target your home country your native country um thank you so much and it is really inspiring especially knowing that you don't have a child with a disability but you know through your experience you were inspired to do what you do and keep motivated in doing what you do so thank you so much for doing what you do and I wish you all the best and maybe you can come back and share some incredible stories to your organization. So thank you so much again. And guys, I want to say thank you so much for tuning in to this week's segment of Unique and Different. And as I always say, until next week, be good, do good. Bye guys. Bye Lucina. Bye.